how to delay GD script execution in Godot. As you may know, sometimes in your project you would like to create a small delay before changing some other parameter. And as an example, I will give you a scenario that I would like to change the light that is attached to our character after 5 seconds to make it even brighter. And that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. Let's jump to our GD script and here as you can see we've got function ready and that ready function is fired whenever we start our game because the player is in our main scene. So instead of pass, I will print start to show you the current behavior. And you see in the logs start. Of course, there is a lot of ways to delay your GD script execution, but this one that I'm going to present to you, I believe will require the least amount of work from you, which will make it the easiest. And to delay this print start, we can type, and that's the key script of this tutorial, await get tree dot create timer. And here we'll need to provide the time that we would like to delay the script with. In my case, it will be free and dot timeout. And after this change, we should see the start after three seconds since the boot of our game. We can check. And you see that the start was delayed. But let's use it in the more complex scenario. And instead of print, we would like to change the character's property, and that is the point light, and mix it with the animation. So instead of print, we will be changing the point light's energy. And to do that, let's switch to the player scene. And here we've got point light 2D. The point light is set to the radial gradient and that makes this cool effect that you can see on the screen. A very subtle aura around our character. And we'll start with getting the reference to our point light 2D. So drag it and drop it with control. Point light 2D. Let's remove the print, we don't need it anymore. So here's the reference and energy will equal 2 because right now as you can see it's 0.5 we can save it and run the project after 3 seconds we'll see the difference and here it is our character is very bright at the moment let's change it to 1.5 but the main issue is that the change is not being animated and after this 3 seconds I would like the energy to gradually and slowly get up to this 1.5 and to do that we'll use something called tween so tween we'll call create tween and below that we'll use this tween tween property and as the first argument we'll provide the nodes reference and in our case it's point like 2d the second will be the parameter that we would like to change and that it's attached to our point like 2D. In our case, it's energy. When you've got the inspector open, you can hover over the thing that you would like to change. So for example, energy, the property energy, or maybe texture scale. You can see that it's typed with the underscore. And third will be the end value. And as the last parameter, the duration, so how long the animation will take. In our case, let's make it 2 seconds. And we can remove the last line, we don't need it anymore. So here with these 3 lines, we've got this result. After 3 seconds, the aura will increase. Great. And it doesn't matter if our character is moving. Perfect. And additionally with this await, I need to tell you that the timer will be freed after this duration that we've provided. I hope that this tutorial will help you with your God of games. So if you enjoyed it, then leave a like and comment. And don't forget that I already have lots of tutorials about Godot. So make sure to check them out next. And bye for now.